What's up guys, this is Leviathan Kraken here, and so I have decided to give you guys a video of a complete 100% step-by-step instructions on how to get your mods going. Uh, I do apologize for making a video and just not showing all the steps. I know there was a couple that I actually did miss in the last video, so I am going to show you from a complete reinstall of Subnautica to how to get everything going. Let's get started. All right, guys, so here we are with a complete 100% step-by-step how to mod Subnautica 2.0, not Legacy. I'll make another video of that maybe later. So this is going to be complete walkthrough, no editing. Well, maybe little editing in case I screw up. But so the, for the purpose of this video, I have completely deleted Subnautica and reinstalled it. Fresh reinstall. So the question is, what do I do now? All right, so here we go. So we're going to go <clears throat> to the Subnautica Nexus website. And for mine, you know, Subnautica. And so s since things will be a lot easier, the Bepinex Subnautica pack is what you're going to download. And that is right on the very top part. You don't have to scroll through a whole bunch of mods. You don't have to search. That is right there. So Bepinex. Here we go. I'm going to go to Files. Mac. Okay, well, we definitely don't want Mac. Windows and Linux. And we're not doing Mod Manager download because I'm not using Vortex, and I highly recommend that you do not use Vortex to install these mods. Manual download. And I might skip through some of this. Okay, Bepinex right there. So... I also recommend the Configuration Manager, Files, okay, and you don't want the, don't want that, you want the manual download, slow download, because I ain't paying them, okay, that was downloaded, Got the configuration manager, the Bepinex. Now the tweaks. Let's see. Was it UI tweaks? No. It was Bepinex tweaks? Okay. Right. This is the one I recommend downloading, so that way you don't have any bugs whenever you're opening and closing your game. Files. Okay. Manual download slow download okay and so those well oh yeah there's one more let's see that's down okay so now I highly recommend SML helper because there is a majority of mods that require this to run so these are going to be the main files that you need to get first before you start downloading your mods so here we go living large update manual download All right, and there we go. Okay, so we've downloaded everything we need before we do a mod first. Of course, what I did was I put my plugins folder in, into my desktop so that way I don't lose everything. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Downloads. These are what I downloaded just recently. So I'm going to go to, so now I've got a shortcut on my desktop, and I highly recommend you make a shortcut so that way you can easily get to this. That way you're not having to scroll through um, here we go. Program files, Steam, Steam apps, Common, Subnautica. You know, you can look at that right there to know exactly where you need to be. Uh, if you have not downloaded Subnautica through Steam, you've used like the Xbox app for PC or something else, I don't know how to help you. I, I think that someone did say that they got this to work with the Xbox app, but if it does work, then the principles should be the same. You just go to your main Subnautica directory and then you go from there. But anyway, so here we go. Bep and X64. Now you're gonna take all this. This is this is you know the zip file that I opened up. Double clicked on it, and this is what's inside the zip file. We're gonna move this into here. It says replacing the file. Okay, oh, I didn't know there was something there, but it says replace the files. It's possible that when I deleted it, it still had Bepinex in there. I don't know. But anyway, 
So if, if you notice here, there is, no, not there, there is a plugins folder right here under Subnautica data. That is not the plugins folder that you use at all. So ignore that. Now, when you go to Bepinex, you're probably thinking, okay, where do I put my mods? There's no plugin folder. Okay, here's what you do. You have to open up Subnautica one time. See, see what it's doing? It's generating the programs that it needs. Oh. I closed that out and then the main app closed. I don't remember that happening last time, but it worked. So here we go. Now it generated the plugins folder. So therefore, that is now set up for you. Okay, now here's what you do now. Bepinex Configuration Manager. See, now here's where I got confused for a little bit at first. You see Bepinex and you're thinking, okay, where's the Configuration Manager? You need to click this and then it's got a plugins folder. I don't know why they do this. This irritates me. Scroll through that. Okay, there you go. Now you got the files that you need to put in your plugins folder. Let me minimize that. So you're going to highlight these, transfer them over, and there you go. Now you got the configuration manager into your plugins folder in the Bepinex. So now we're going to move on to the next one. Uh, I clicked on the wrong thing. Okay, so Bepinex tweaks. I double clicked on that. See, we got the same thing. It's got the Bepinex plugins. Just scroll through that, and then take this, and then put that into the plugins folder. So now I have the configuration manager and the tweaks. Those are both installed. So now we're going back over here. SML helper plugins mod. They call it modding helper. So that's what it's. They have it named. Move that over. And then there you go. Okay, so now you, we've got all four Bepinex installed, Bepinex tweaks, SML helper, and then the configuration manager. All that should be ready to go. Let's open it up, and we're going to hit F5. Minimize. I guess I'll just minimize that. I don't know. Maybe it's because I was in windowed mode. All right, so... This was my save file. I don't have any mods on there at the moment. So I'm going to hit a new file. I'll just hit creative. Alright, so now remember, there's no mods on there just yet. All we have is the SML helper and everything. So if, when we hit F5, there you go. There's the configuration manager. And this tells me that I do have Bepinex tweaks on there. And Bepinex and the configuration manager. Now it should be showing SML Helper. Maybe that doesn't show up on there. I don't know. But what we're going to do is we're going to load up a mod that requires SML Helper just to double check to make sure that's working. So this configuration manager is working. So we'll back out of here. All right. So now what we're going to do. Okay. So this is our plugins folder. I'm going to. Let's see. Let's find a mod that requires SML Helper. Okay, so I found a mod here. Base legs removal, this is simple. Now this one definitely requires SML Helper to work. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna download this one. Manual download, slow download. All right, now we go to downloads, base legs removal, open up that plugins folder, don't let that confuse you. All right, so now here we are in plugins, base legs removal, and it's just a simple drag over. So now, I believe, I'm trying to remember how you get the, the legs removed, let me double check. Sometimes you have to read the descriptions of these mods in order to understand how they work. It just says basic mod for the end game. Okay, well that doesn't really tell me how to do it. Yeah, you're just going to want to minimize that so it's not in the way. Okay, so let's... I should have saved the game. Okay, so... Let's let's shut her up for a second here. Okay, so 
let's go build a large room or actually I don't know if we need a large room let's see let's just build a regular let's build a moon pool and then we're gonna see well there we go right there if we can remove the legs let's see options mods okay here we go base legs removal foundation moon pull bam just like that so our mod is functioning oh, she's still talking <laughs> okay so anyway guys this works um sml helper worked just fine so you're gonna basically repeat the same process for downloading whatever mods that you want to put on there now remember they have to be 2.0 not legacy or they're not going to work so there we go that was how to get everything set up that was how to get the foundation of your you know mod loader going and we installed one mod got it going so there you go hope this helps